Hey, Sail Away crew. We are five days from boarding the wonder of the seas. Be sure and keep an eye out for those vlogs. But it got me thinking since I had all my stuff out to pack about the five top cruise cabin essentials. And all of these items are available on Amazon and will be linked for you in the description box below. One of my favorites for your cruise cabin is a laundry basket. I love this one because you can, it folds flat and you can put it flat in your bag. One of the first things I put in my bag. But then when you get in the room, it pops out very nicely and goes in the corner, or you can even lay it flat, I guess, if you wanted to and put things in like that. It goes in the corner and then when you go to pack again, you just put it flat and it goes right back in the suitcase. Another cruise cabin essential that I absolutely love, and if I had to go in order, this would be my number one, is the hanging pocket organizer. The over the door shoe holder is really what it is. This is one of my favorites, and you can hear the handles jiggling inside here, and they just go right up here, and then you put it over the bathroom door to the inside, so that when you close the door and you need to reach out of the shower for something, it's right there on the door of the bathroom. This one has mesh pockets, which I love because then the bottles and things don't stick to the pockets. If you have to get one with plastic pockets, still, it's better than nothing. But this is about my favorite uh, cruise cabin item. This actually goes in first because again, it lays flat in the suitcase and I put it in the very first. Another item we personally can't do without are the magnet hooks. As you can tell, these are magnets. These aren't very big, but they hold quite a lot of weight. So you put them on the walls. Your cabin walls on all the cruise lines are metal. And of course, these are magnets. And so they stick to the walls. And then you can hang whatever you want, a jacket, a purse, a wet towel, a just damp bathing suit or a hat. Whatever it is you need handy in your cruise cabin, you just stick these on the wall and you have it handy. The next cruise cabin essential I love is some kind of extension hub. Now, the cruise lines are very specific with saying they do not want it to be surge protected. And some folks have said even when they comply with the rules, they still get it taken out of their luggage. Now, I have never read about anyone, and I have never experienced it in 15 cruises, that something being taken out of packed luggage, um, the checked-in luggage that you give to the porter at the at the curb. I have never heard of anyone having anything taken out of their packed luggage that had to do with any kind of extension hub. However, if you put generally most anything in your carry-on luggage, they will take it, even if it's compliant. So my first bit of advice regarding extension hubs is put it in your, your checked luggage. These are the two kinds that I really like, and I have each of them. This is the first one that we have used for years, and it is a Tassan brand, and it has done well for us for years. It has, as you can tell, the three American outlets, as well as three USB ports. Usually I put it in the box and in my checked luggage. But another one that I like, which I think I'm going with this cruise on the Wonder, is this hub, Allegiant is the name of the brand. I also got it on Amazon. And it just has the USB ports and it has six USB ports. And so it's a little smaller. The videos that I have seen lately, at least of Wonder of the Seas, they the cruise line got the message and they have more American and European plugs. And so it looks like probably a USB port is all we're going to need. But if you're on one of the older ships, then, then this is a really good plug because you have the three American plugs as well as the three USB ports. If you're getting any value at all, please subscribe. It really helps our channel. We're really small and we're trying to grow, but it also lets YouTube know that people like cruising content. So please subscribe and like and share. And my last suggested item for the cruise cabin, and I say last, even though it probably should have been first, and I struggled with what this should have been. I was like, well, my husband have a, has a, a night mask that he really likes, and a lot of people bring fans that they like, but this has got to be it. This is the winner. Poopery. Um, you've got to get poopery, and it is available, not in a bottle that looks like this, but I'll show the picture here for you to look at of what the picture looks like on Amazon. What I do is I buy the large bottle, and then I put it in a smaller bottle for the cruise cabin in a spray bottle, um, and it is basically, you spray it in the bowl before you go, and it smells lovely instead of like something else. If you've ever cruised, 
you know how small those bathrooms are. That's why I say this should have actually been my number one because it comes in really handy. There are a lot of other things that I would recommend you taking with you on a cruise that you could use outside the cruise cabin. And this video right here will show you the top 20 cruise essentials. Be blessed.